Hello, welcome back. I uh, really appreciate the new subscribers, so thank you for coming on board. And the last video did so well, I thought I would run through my uh, vintage uh, audio collection in terms of um, receivers and amplifiers. So the first thing I got was actually the amp, which is underneath this tuner. The tuner doesn't match the amp, it's a KT5300. Uh, it goes with a KA5300, but the 5700, which is what this is, has the beautiful VU meters. So uh, I just put the two together and I've put the tuner on top because it's got a nicer casing covering the um, a little bit more mottled casing of the amp. And I'm pairing them with Cambridge Audio CA30s uh, and they're sort of like a deep box um, speaker, a little bit like Q Acoustics. So they work well with this particular amp. Uh, it doesn't pump out too much wattage and it does the job it's sitting on a cabinet full of our glassware and stuff like that. Uh, it looks nice together uh, and it's sort of a, a really nice radio. I'm not linking anything up to it other than just having the tuner and play radio. There's a terrarium next to the other speaker. So the speakers are very close together, um, but this is just in the dining room. So it is a relatively small space. And we've got a little, um, some glassware at the back there as well. That's my wife's um, Italian glassware. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I love the silver face of um, vintage audio. And of course, the whole reason for getting this is the way it lights up. Uh, and those VU meters are, um, they do work, but they're not bouncing because it's not very loud. But when you turn up loud, you see them move quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, this is my first um, vintage amp that I got. It's in really good condition. And I just threw the tuner on top so that I can basically use it as a radio. And it replaced, uh, there's a little table there it replaced the Pioneer uh, and this is an SX535 and I really like it because it's you know another silver face uh, vintage amp from the 70s I like that black void of the um, the tuner dial you can't really see it until it's switched on and uh, it's just got nice proportions it's not a flagship model by any stretch but it's in very good condition both um, these sets of uh, vintage Hi-Fi are in good condition. This one, that it's been serviced and they commented on how beautiful it was. Uh, so it's been nicely looked after. And of course it lights up blue, which is what I like about it. And I love the tuning. Um, the tuning dial has is, is got this nice orange glow to it. So yeah, that uh, was paired up with the Riga P1 actually for a while and it sounded really good with that. Of course, uh, don't make the mistake I did. You can't just put it through the phone. There's some CDs. You've got to have a, um, a phono amp and put it through the auxiliary to use some of that vintage stuff with new turntables. Now we're in the studio and this is my Yami, my Yamaha Natural Sound Stereo Amplifier CA510. Uh, and this was one of the last ones I got actually. Uh, it's a little bit more banged up and there's my um, one piece collection. A uh, little figurine's just sitting up there. Yeah, uh, the, and the VU meters are not working at the moment. So you can see it's on, but they should be green. Uh, they're a rather nice green. Uh, it's sitting on top of another uh, DVD player, just like my system in the living room. Uh, just an old Pioneer DVD player with a pretty good deck. It sounds really good. Uh, what is it? It's the DV355. So another one, I got the Denon DVD player uh, to replace this one. Then I just matched this up with various other systems. Um, and it's currently with the Yamaha because it's an amazing uh, system. It does sound really good. Uh, uh, I just want to get those VU meters fixed. And I might do that myself. So I might do a video where I um, just fix those. They, they went out recently, which is really annoying. Uh, there may be some electrical fault there. And the, the A speakers, because they can run AB, uh, Celestian Fires, which are made in England, they're vintage speakers. They're in really good condition too. Uh, there's a Sony, old Sony TV that I use as a second screen. And here they are with grills off. Uh, not beautiful in my opinion, so I, I leave the grills on. I don't think they look that great aesthetically. I, I don't really like them with the grills off, but they've got nice cabinetry. There's some Lego. My son keeps bringing me Lego. Um, and yeah, they, the second uh, set of speakers are Mordant Short Carnival Ones. Um, and I might pair them with something else because they are, I am using them, but I'm not really going for quadraphonic sound. But sometimes I switch on A and B, but those are the B speakers with the Yamaha. 
and there it is in all its glory so I can't show off the lights I'm afraid but I think it works uh, it's you know it's in my studio it's uh, good for playing CDs uh, no tuner this is just an amp so there's no sort of radio play with this one but Yamaha sound is amazing and it works really well and it replaced this which is a Sony TA 1010 or 1010 uh, which has the volume knob in the middle so again symmetry in this one uh, with the various levers and knobs on the right hand side and the left hand side this is in mint condition uh, I got this for free in the end um, it was sold to me and then it wasn't working and then he just let me have it um, and that's it uh, I wouldn't run out to get this one uh, but it is it is quite pretty so yeah that's my vintage stereo collection thanks for watching